As campuses close, local community colleges do what they can to help health workers battling COVID-19. Coming up, I talked to people at the University of the Cumberlands that while the campus is closed, they're not letting one meal go to waste. We'll have more in just a few minutes. Cloud and rain chances return tomorrow, but it won't be a total washout. I have your forecast now at 430. As cases of the novel coronavirus continue to rise, many businesses and organizations are stepping in to help. Some community and technical colleges are working to help fill the need for personal protective equipment or PPEs. WIMT's Will Puckett is live in Middlesboro for us this afternoon with more. Will? Noon. I am in the Ideas Lab at Southeast Community Technical College. Ideas stands for Innovation, Design, and Entrepreneurship at Southeast. This lab in, in here are nine 3D printers working on making plastic parts for face shields for hospitals. This started Monday with work on a prototype to now where the machines are tracing out a piece of plastic that will have a shield that fastens on to the front of it. This project is a way for the community college to give back and help out some of the people who graduated from here. A lot of the students that are, you know, are employees that are working in the hospital are our former students here. So, you know, we're trying to do something to give back to them and to give back to our community. Uh, our local hospitals, ARH, has been very generous to us in our program. Uh, Mountain Comprehensive Healthcare has been very generous to us. The plan is to make a couple of hundred of these to start with, see how great the demand is, and if there is more demand for them, they will produce more. Now, while these do run mostly by themselves, there are people who have to be in here to monitor them, and when, a, when one is fully made, they'll take it off and restart the process. They are sticking by the CDC guidelines of six feet apart and social distancing. Steve. All right, well, thank you. So here's the latest map of Kentucky showing COVID-19 cases. As of yesterday's update, there's an estimated 198 cases across the bluegrass. Most of those are in central Kentucky still. Counties here in the WYMT coverage area with positive cases include Breathitt, Martin, Laurel, McCreary, Wayne, and Pulaski. With campuses closed across the state, one college had an idea to make sure their employees would keep working. WIMT's Hannah Reynolds talked to Dr. Larry Cockrum at the University of the Cumberlands about what they are doing to give back to people in Williamsburg that need their help now more than ever. It's what our mission has been here since this school began. Helping out wherever they can. None of us have ever seen this before. And um, what we want to try to do is make sure that none of our employees are laid off. Uh, we want to keep them employed for as long as we can because there's a lot of other people that are being affected by it. Though their cafeteria remains empty, their hearts are full of love. Then came an idea. So, and we had food. Students weren't here. So the best thing to do and the right thing to do is to feed the, the people that have trouble feeding themselves. Uh, well, the students are out. We're still servicing them. They come in. Uh, it's basically just like a carryout you would at a restaurant. They come in, they get their meals, and um, Dr. Cocker wanted them out the door as soon as possible. But they quickly realized the need stretched beyond their campus while keeping that social distancing. They're loading up their vans, delivering food to churches, schools, and senior centers. The senior citizens, you know, there was, I think, 10 people on a waiting list. They were servicing some people, but there were still 10 people on a waiting list that basically didn't have anything. So to be able to help them obviously gives you a great deal of gratitude and, and you know, just makes you feel good that you're helping someone. In return, pouring into the kitchen just as much as they are giving out. In Whitley County, Hannah Reynolds, WYMT Mountain News. If you know anyone that should be added to their list of families to serve, you can contact the University of the Cumberlands at 606-539-4357. Classes for all 16 colleges in the Kentucky Community and Technical College System will be going online for the rest of the semester. Hazard Community and Technical College is one of those colleges, of course, and President Dr. Jennifer Linden says all content can be put online and completed remotely. But Dr. Linden says there is one aspect of education that could not be completed online. 
We do have some students who have lab hours that are required for their programs. And for those students, just as soon as we can get students safely in labs again, we will begin to make up those hours and that lab time. Dr. Linden says they do have Wi-Fi hotspots available on all campus parking lots so that not only students, but anyone in the community can complete their studies and projects if you want to take advantage of that. The U.S. Postal Service is doing its part to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. USPS says it's temporarily modifying the way customers sign for packages. It's also making sure employees and customers have a safe distance between each other. USPS says it's also encouraging employees to take those personal health precautions, including washing their hands frequently, using hand sanitizer, and cleaning workspaces often. Well, it's just been a beautiful day in the mountains, and that's going to continue as we head into those evening hours. Let's go ahead and take you up to those gorgeous cameras. Interstate 75 over into Mount Vernon, those beautiful blue skies. The sun is shining. That grass starting to look pretty green over there. I'm sure we'll start to see a lot of things budding here soon. US 119, US 23 over in Jenkins. You're seeing that sunshine over there. And overall, just kind of those calmer and drier conditions for a change. Temperatures very warm outside. A lot of us into about those low to mid 70s some spots into the 60s if you're looking into lexington wise now has hit the 70s they're right there near 70 degrees and as we look at satellite and radar we've seen a few high clouds you see those showers but over in louisville and lexington and that's where they're going to stay maybe areas along i-64 might get a stray shower but most of us will stay dry especially as we head into tonight we'll continue to see those clear skies temperatures will drop into about the lower 60s and we'll see those temperatures really warm up as we head into the next few days, but we also could be tracking a little bit more rain as well. I'll have those details coming up in a little bit. All right, Paige, thank you. President Trump says his administration is revising its social distancing guidelines and will classify areas as high, medium, or low risk. It comes as the death toll from coronavirus in the United States climbs to more than 1,000. The growing number of COVID-19 cases in New York City is overwhelming hospitals. Elmhurst Hospital in Queens had 13 deaths in just 24 hours. WYMT's Madison program talks to a Kentucky native who lives in New York City and works in the medical field. It's an eerie scene. The streets of New York City are quiet and empty. Everyone I feel like is communally worried about it, like out on the streets, in the parks. Obviously, the businesses and everything that's not essential is closed. As the city is what some could call the epicenter of the outbreak here in the U.S. Aniston Kane, a Kentucky native, is experiencing it firsthand. Now that it's getting more serious, we're like getting more cases like, you know, that are being tested positive. Um, it's becoming like more anxiety inducing. But as a patient care assistant at a hospital, she remains on the front line taking patients from all over now at this point because beds are just needed. Experiencing the same struggles as many healthcare professionals around the world. Yeah, we're having to like really ration, um, you know, at this point, if you don't have a mask like that's soiled, um, if you don't have a mask that's ripped, if it can be used, we're trying to use it as much as possible. Keeping focus on the task at hand day by day. Showing how we were all in this together, fellow Kentuckians continue to check in on her, reminding her of that old Kentucky home. People start reaching out to me and are, you know, asking me, am I worried? Am I doing okay? Am I healthy? Am I safe? Yes, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have any, I'm not presenting symptoms. I'm trying to remain as safe as possible. While she continues to do what she says she signed up for. I love what I do. I kind of like you know, kept feeling like I can help people. I mean, that's why I chose the field that I'm in. Part of a field that is battling the pandemic head on. Madison Pergram, WYMT Mountain News. Kane does say she encourages everyone to continue washing your hands, practice social distancing, and to protect the most vulnerable during this time. Coming up on Mountain News at 430, hear from a family of three who all came down with COVID-19. And those warm temperatures continue as we head into the next few days, along with a few scattered rain chances, but that sunshine returns pretty quickly after that. I'll have those details coming up.